two major categories of these uh, these cameras I mentioned now. The first one is the automatic plate number recognition. Automatic uh, plate number uh, uh, recognition. The function of this is to capture, identify and capture and record the identity of the vehicle as they make a passage across the plaza. This camera that I said functions by recognizing the vehicle through the plate number. It also helps us to also classify it. What I mean classify it, whether it would be a Jeep or it's an ordinary car. And the position of this camera is like an eye view, eye level around the eyes. It's not too tall up there, not too high up there. Reason being that it can capture the object that is the vehicle, the cars, the past. The second one is the surveillance camera. This one is surveillance camera. It is, we, we call it PTZ. The P there, PTZ, we call it PTZ. P for tall, T for tall, and Z for zone. The P there is to enable it to pan, to, to just move around. The T there is to enable it to tease. You can go this way, you can go this way. The T. Why the Z there? Z. It allows the camera to zoom. And that is the second major category of camera that we have. The position of this, like we went there, I showed it to the, to the family when we visited, is just up high there. Because at the time we went there, it was still there. And to the best of my knowledge, this morning, at this moment, it is still there. It's hosted on the mass. We will come to the point of 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 the 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 major cost is because the system, the network, the, the way it is is that we have we have the network. The network is the one that connects the various cameras together. As of today, we have three of them. We have one camera at the plaza that we have at something. We have the second camera on the, the Koyi bridge. We have the third camera, the same camera, the second camera at the Chevron office. The server itself, that is where the database the site is located at the Chevron office. Reason you can even get anything. But the network, what brings all the cameras together to communicate together is resident or was resident then at the Ecoli office, which has been born. The Ecoli plan. The Ecoli plan, the Ecoli bridge. Then we also have our own generators. Where there is no power from IPP, we switch on our generators. Then we have this one that we can use to do a stop down. That's our UPS, because the tolling system can never stop having power. So between when we are moving from one source of power to another one, the UPS will be on. These are the major ways we power the equipment and plant. The IPP, the generator, and on the small scale, the UPS. At the toll plaza, 
on the evening of the day of the incident. We got information. And as a responsible company that cares for the safety of our staff, we also issue uh, a communication that everybody should comply with the announcement. So we send communication out to our staff to go. And everybody left. So, including those that are supposed to be in charge of the generator, because everybody has to go. If your company remove any category of camera at the toll plaza and then tell the tribunal which category of camera was removed by your company. On the 20th, early, the early hour of the 20th, coming to specific numbers around 10 o'clock, when we noticed, when we observed the Karashenda earlier, that we had decided that there certain you know, uh, pifering and tampering with our equipment. So we then decided to harvest, to proactively harvest the, uh, the equipment that we can, because they are very expensive. All those equipment that we talk about were bought in Georgia, not from local contractors or manufacturers. They are all foreign. Yeah. Our mind was to find a way to safeguard and keep as much as we can. Yes, around that early, uh, early hour of the day, we did remove the, the type that I talked about earlier, the automatic uh, plate number recognition. That's the one we tried to remove, plus some other items like laptop, computer systems, and so on. I was not there at all at all because I have been harassed to say that I've been trying to bring in the police. He gave out my number to everybody. They were calling me, abusing me and forcing me. So for me, the best way is to, is to stay out of the environment. And do. That's what we do. At that point, we had to withdraw the people. Because it was just impossible for us to, to, to walk as a place. In any case, at that time also, they had also blocked the two sides of the road. No vehicle could, uh, could pass. So at the point also, there was a social media report where they alleged that we were trying to bring police to come and harass them. So we were trying what we could to avoid any form of confrontation. So we had to withdraw. Uh, people out of the area. While we were not uh, at this uh, environment at all, particularly on that day, was the prior days have seen a progressive uh, taking over of that environment. It started uh, early in the month when they came over by who? They took it over by the protesters. It started when, on that, or at the beginning, we saw a group of people with the uh, inscriptions, boldly written, you know, um, answers. What they were looking for, or what they were doing on that particular day, was to have a passage through the plaza from one side of the Becky Phase 1 to the O'Neill Junction. And we did oblige. We allowed them to make that passage. But progressively, as the encounter one, the two, the movement started to cluster around the plaza area.